Hello everybody and welcome back here to our IAX FM 22 beta series. Today's episode will see us taking on Benfica in the second leg of the first knockout round in the Champions League. We go in with a 3-0 advantage, 3 away goals, so it would take a very big collapse for us to not make it into the next round. But then, a very important second game in today's episode will see us taking on Feyenoord in the league. It is a first versus second, and we go in even on points. So a very important game there we cannot afford to lose because I don't think Feyenoord would drop enough points for us to be able to claw it back before the end of the season. So a very important game there for both teams. Switching over here to the schedule view. We'll just take a look at how we've done since last time. So a 2-0 victory over Go Ahead in the league. Then it was into the semifinal of the Dutch Cup. And we got revenge on Sparta. The first team that we dropped points against in the league. It was a 3-0 win away in Rotterdam. Tadic, Haller, and Schurz getting three first half goals. They had a player sent off in the 14th minute, which made things a little easier. Then we had two more league games. First was a 5-1 victory over Valwick. Nicholas Sula got himself a hat trick and Mo Kudas got himself a brace in that game. Then the latest game was a 3-0 victory over Camber. Gravenber, Haller, and Kudas each getting a goal in that game. And here is just a closer look at the league table. You can see us and Feyenoord on 71 points. Clear of everyone else. We are ahead by 8 goals in the goal difference. So that sees us sitting on top with just 8 games remaining. So that is why the second game is so important. There is just not going to be enough time if a team were to lose to be able to get back in it. Taking a look at today's team that will be taking on Benfica, you can see it is a very rotated side as we have our eyes on that Feyenoord match. With us having a 3-0 advantage in this tie, we have the luxury of resting some players ahead of the Feyenoord match. Still a very good team team that should hopefully be getting a victory at home today. So let's go ahead and we'll get this one underway at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Early highlight, early free kick for Ajax. It's whipped in by Taylor. Klassen heads it home. It's going to get checked for VAR. Please tell me he did not go early. That looked like he was onside to me. And it is counted a 1-0 advantage just minutes into the game. Davy Klaassen, Mr. 1-0 himself. Let's go. Another highlight, Benfica on the ball this time. If they want to have any chance of getting back in this, they have to get a goal and quickly. They're working it down this right-hand side. Looking to whip it across. They eventually play it into their midfield. And then they're first to go all the way back to their center back. Still looking to break us down here. And that is an opportunity. Um, it's going to get checked by VAR. I think it's going to count. Yep. Completely switched off there on the back post. And Benfica getting a goal back here. They just need three more goals, and there's plenty of time to do it. That was a uh, very poor defending in the end from Ajax right there. Corner for Ajax, Taylor whips it in. Martinez got on the end of it, but his header goes over, and the highlight is going to continue here off of the goal kick. It's booted forward. Blind wins that header, and it's up to Pepe. What can he do? Ricardo Pepe gets his very first goal in the Champions League in his very first start. He did come on as a sub last time. 
Great ball in by Kudas and Ricardo Pepe, the 19-year-old. Coolly and calmly slots that past the keeper. 2-1, and it's another highlight. Another corner for Ajax. Benfica defending it well, and they're now on a counterattack here. Let's not concede right away. Come on. Working it down the right-hand side once again. It's Kudas who wins the ball. Now we're looking to counterattack. He's looking for Pepe again. But Jan Vertonghen is there. End-to-end -end stuff going on here. That was a great opportunity. He took it just a bit too far wide. And that gives Onata an opportunity to cut the angle off. And we're going to go into halftime with a 2-1 lead in this game. And a 5-1 lead on aggregate. Benfica definitely getting some opportunities in this game. But realistically, there's just too much ground for them to make up. Let's just go out there in the second half, be professional, and get over the line and get into the next round. Oop, there was a, a highlight there that I missed while I was checking out some opposition instructions. It was headed out by us, and we're on the ball once again after another turnover from their goal kick. Martinez bringing it forward, plays it out to Darame. He whips it across for Kudas, and Mo Kudas gets the goal. Let's go. Kudas is in the form of his life right now. Darame with a great ball in. Kudas firing it in there. A 3-1 advantage. 6-1 on aggregate. We are cruising. And it's another corner for Ajax. Looking for goal number four. And I believe that was Schurz who heads it over this time. Benfica still not giving up and that was a great opportunity. They head it just over. Let's go ahead and make a substitution. I know there's a highlight that just came up. But we're going to bring on Sean Kleiber for just his second appearance this season. He made his season debut last game coming off the bench after having a serious knee injury. And let us also bring on Yetson Fernandez for Davy Clausen, who is on a yellow card. Don't want to have him get sent off and miss out on the next game. So on comes Yetson Fernandez. And let's see what happens on this highlight. Can we win the ball off of him here? Not quite. They're bringing it forward. That's a great ball over the top. Darwin is through on goal, but Onana with a huge save to keep it 3-1. Benfica again on the ball. Looking to get a second goal in this game. They're playing for pride now, and they have not given up their fight. But we have won it off of them. Anthony trying to bring it forward. He gets cut out. Benfica playing it up to Rafa on this right-hand side. Is he going to whip it across? Nope, he plays it back to his right back, who plays it back. Oh, a Rabona cross. That was a real good opportunity, but thankfully it comes to nothing that time. And the full-time whistle has been blown. A 3-1 victory in this game, and a 6-1 aggregate victory. Could not have asked for a better two-leg performance from the boys out there today. So Ajax advances to the next round. Come on. All right, it is time for the quarterfinal and semifinal draws. Let's see who we will get in the next stage. The teams that remain in the competition are Ajax, Chelsea, Liverpool, PSG, Dortmund, Bayern, Man City, and Juventus. We've already faced off against City and got a victory over them. I'd like to avoid PSG at the moment. They are insane on this game. But let's go ahead and draw all teams. And it is going to be Ajax versus Chelsea. Of course, they have ex-Ajax player Hakim Ziyech. It's not going to be an easy game. But obviously, if you make it to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, there isn't going to be any more easy games. 
we were able to beat City and Barcelona. So on our day, we are capable of beating anyone. But we have to do it over two legs. Let's go ahead and draw the semi-final. If we were to advance past Chelsea, we would take on Dortmund or Liverpool. So we avoid the PSG path. But our focus is squarely on trying to get past Chelsea. And here it is. Here's the team that's going to take on Feyenoord. Not really any surprises in our team selection. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into it here. A huge game at the Johan Cruyff Arena. First versus second. The Classicer Ajax versus Feyenoord. Come on. First highlight, Ajax with a deep throw in. That was a very dangerous challenge in the box, but they did well to win it. But we've won the ball right back, pushing it forward. Berghaus plays it out to Tagliafico, who has a shot, and it is out for a corner. That would have been some goal by Nico. Berghaus to whip in the corner. It gets headed away, but it falls to Haller, and his shot gets blocked out for a corner. Berghaus again to whip it in. He's looking for anyone in the box, but it finds a Feyenoord head. Nair is now on the right-hand side. Plays it in the Jetson. And he picks out Haller for the first goal of the game. His 22nd on the season. 1-0. 24 minutes gone. Not the best defending there from Feyenoord. And Haller has a nice, easy tap-in. That defender just lets Haller step in front of him. Has to be more aware. But it is 1-0. Come on, we are completely dominating them here. Let's see if we can get goal number two. Sula was bringing it forward. Ran out of options. Plays it back to his center back partner. Now Tagliafico on the left hand side in a ton of space. Gets his cross in for Haller. But he heads it over. A throw in in the final minute of the first half. Would be a great time to get a goal. But we turn it over, it would also be a horrible time to concede. Don't do it, boys. Don't do it. Oh, are you kidding me? Guys, the worst possible time to concede. We just fall asleep right here. To be fair, it was a fantastic strike. But where was the defense? No one around him. No one stepping up. A poor goal to concede on the brink of halftime. And we go in 1-1. We completely shut him out up until that point. So that is very disappointing. And so it's all to do in the second half. Got a highlight here right in the first minute of the second half. David Nera's. What can you do? He plays it back to Divine Wrench, who gets it out to Tagliafico. Plays it over to Ryan Gravenber, over to Jetson, and the highlight comes to nothing. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, we're going to make a substitution here. We're going to bring on Kudas for Berghaus and Klaassen for Fernandez. Here we go, a throw in a good position. Nico throws it deep. Oh, that has to be a goal. He, I'm pretty sure he was onside. I think the center back that was marking him was playing him onside. At the moment, it is 2-1 VAR. It looks like they have ruled it a goal, but they haven't said yet. Gravenberg plays it in. That is for sure onside. Haller with his second goal of the day. Let's go. Time for some more substitutions. Anthony coming on for Neres and Martinez coming on for Alvarez, who is on a yellow card. All right, final substitution. Yuri and Timber is going to come on for Divine Wrench. Just a few minutes left of the game. Come on, boys. We are so, so close. Yes, there it is. The full time whistle. A huge 2 1 victory. That will give us a three-point lead over Feyenoord in the league. And there will be just seven games remaining left in the season. A huge win 
Sebastian Haller getting both goals in the game. When we needed a performance out of him, he delivered a huge, huge victory. Get in there. What a beautiful sight. Ajax on top. 74 points. Feyenoord, three points behind us now. Seven games remaining. And if we look at the schedule, the toughest opponent remaining is Atze. We just cannot afford to get complacent in any of these remaining games. But things are looking very good for Ajax here. But that is where this episode will be coming to an end. If you have enjoyed it, as always, leave a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.